Harry's Wife, A Lesson Royal Narcissus, Part 51.2. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Before I get into more analysis through the prism of narcissism about the forthcoming book, The Bench, I was going to take a break from further analysis about Harry's wife, principally because I find her very boring. However, this issue with regard to the book was too good an opportunity to pass up, both in terms of providing analysis and also because repeatedly people in the comments had asked for me to address this issue. And I'm nothing but an audience pleaser, as you well know. Of course, Harry's wife provides us with an excellent vehicle for the analysis of the various facets of narcissism and the narcissistic dynamic to aid and improve your understanding and, as a consequence, the repeated demands for me to continue to cover her and the viewership merits doing so. It provides a reach by virtue of understanding and the continued analysis. I mentioned in part one, where might the inspiration have come for this book? Now, reference has been made to the bench starting as a poem, but controversy looms because the Daily Mail reports in Daily Mail Online and asks this question, was Harry's wife inspired by a British children's author with the bench? Royal Watchers accused Duchess of ripping off Corin Averis's story about a father and son's bond with an identical cover and illustrations. Dun, dun, dun. So, allegations of plagiarism. Before we get down to that, let's just talk a little about plagiarism and narcissists. Non-narcissists plagiarise because it can be for the purposes of convenience. For instance, a normal or empathic person could face an, an external stressor, namely a deadline, or that they face an external stressor because they don't know what to do, and therefore their emotional empathy is eroded by this external stressor, so they seek out material which is not their own, and they crib from it, for example, in a thesis or an examination answer. And therefore, it's not just the preserve of narcissists that will plagiarise, but it usually is. The reason being, of course, that a narcissist sees everything else as up for grabs because we have no boundary recognition. The narcissist also sees that the work can be utilised because of a sense of entitlement. There's no emotional empathy for the person who's affected by the acquisition of this material and its use. There is no accountability for the behaviour. It's also a form of manipulation by utilising the material, which generally would be regarded as superior and effective in some form. It enables the narcissist to triangulate other people with it. It's also a, an act which smacks of efficiency in terms of, rather than spend time thinking about something original and taking the time to write it and create it or mould it or record it or sculpt it or whatever the creation is, far easier just to copy what somebody else has done or pinch it wholesale. And of course, I have had repeated instances of people who plagiarise my work, trying to put sections of my books in their books, which I have stopped, and there are those which utilise my videos, putting them on far less well-known channels. And where that happens, they are dealt with. In the past, I have ensured that those people have not only taken down and removed my material, but they have had to pay to me the advertising revenue that they have made. I am not adverse to people coming and using my material if they ask first, and we reach an agreement. Of course, I see the benefit of doing so, but the wholesale plagiarism of my work is part of the reason why I charge for aspects of it to counter that occurring. Invariably, those that have done it were narcissists. I was able to ascertain that from looking at the way that they conducted themselves and they behaved, and it was as a consequence of the bringing to bear the power of the law against them that caused them to capitulate, something that I have explained to you elsewhere about causing a narcissist do what you require. Now, 
<clears throat> plagiarism is regularly undertaken by narcissism because of the sense of entitlement, the lack of emotional empathy, the lack of accountability, a lack of boundary recognition, and of course, it's a form of character trait acquisition. It's not seen as belonging to you, but is seen as something that the narcissist is perfectly entitled to go after and acquire for themselves. So it is a repeated behaviour of a narcissist to plagiarise, whether it is copying somebody's answers at school, whether it is taking somebody's book and passing it off as your own, taking somebody's script idea from a budding screenwriter, fobbing them off and then claiming that it was your own, particularly done by narcissists which are in a more powerful position. For example, they have money, contacts and access so that they can make things work. It might be with regard to taking somebody's invention and passing it off as uh, belonging to the narcissist. Plagiarism does occur with non-narcissists, but more usually it is something that is undertaken by narcissists. So, first of all, given that our subject here is a narcissist, this raises a presumption that plagiarism is something that could occur. And of course, reference has been made previously to at least two instances of suspected plagiarism by Harry's wife. The first was with regard to utilising somebody else's speech as her own, and in another instance was using an excerpt, I think, from some kind of book or something that had been written and utilising those words in relation to the miscarriage that occurred. So there is form in that regard. Let's, let's read and ascertain what the Daily Mail has to say about this allegation. Harry's wife has been accused of ripping off a British children's author with her debut book, The Bench. In a statement announcing the book yesterday, Harry's wife, 39, said her children's book, which will be published on June the 8th by Random House, was inspired by a poem she wrote for Prince Harry at the time of the birth of her son, Archie. However, royal watchers have been quick to point out similarities between the story and a children's book by Corinne Avaris, The Boy and the Bench, which was released in 2018. Both books appear to feature similar colourful illustrations. Well, that's not plagiarism. Most illustrations are relatively colourful. And a story centred around the special bond between a father and son as they sit on a bench together. Hmm. Has the width of plagiarism now? One Twitter user commented, Almost identical to Corin Avaris's book, The Boy on the Bench, even the cover. It comes as sources told Vanity Fair's Katie Nichol that Harry's wife plans to write more books in the f oh, for fuck's sake, revealing she wanted to have a go at right wanted to have a go. Mm, what shall I be today? Think I'll be an astronaut. Hello, NASA. Could I be an astronaut for today? Oh, I think actually I am now going to be an architect. Hello, huge art architectural practice. I wonder if I could come in and design a new skyscraper with you. I'll just pause there that mindset of wanting to have a go demonstrates the grandiosity and sense of entitlement of the narcissist in terms of, I can do absolutely everything and anything. Now, there are those of our kind who are that kind of polymath individual that can turn our hands to many things. I can, for instance. But there are many, many of our kind who operate through that grandiosity, sense of entitlement and delusion that they can become anything that they actually want. The chameleon nature of the narcissism, choosing that approach for the purposes of assertion of control, gathering of fuel, etc., residual benefits and so on, without there actually being anything to back it up. And of course, when those individuals fall flat on their face, you see the ensuing tantrums and blame shifting. My book would have been a success, but it wasn't marketed properly. Or... The song would have done really well, but it didn't get any airplay. Mm, could it be that your book was shit and nobody wanted to read it? Or that song basically sounded like uh, something that would dissuade mosquitoes from biting you? There are those classifications of narcissists that believe that they can turn their hand to anything, driven by that need to assert control and their sense of entitlement and grandiosity. Returning to the article, Katie Nichols states... She wanted to have a go at writing a children's book first, and depending on the success of this, there will be more. Don't buy it. She's also keen to write books for adults, too. Mm. And then the Daily Mail has a copy of 
Harry's wife's book, which shows a tree, some birds, and a bench. And then there is Corinne Avarice's book, which shows a bench by some trees and some birds, although there's some children on the slide here. And there's actually somebody sat on the bench. So similarities from the cover, yes. The mail continues. Another wrote, I hope the author she ripped off is going to sue her. The cheek of this woman, The Boy on the Bench by Corin Avarice. Corin's book features a story about a father and son enjoying nature from a bench and their bond with one another. Online, it is described as a gentle, empathetic story about overcoming fears and being yourself. Illustrations in the story, which was released months before Megan gave birth to son Archie, include a father and son sitting together on a bench, as well as a bird's eye view of the duo together. And then the mail continues with a variety of tweets, which include somebody stating, This was stolen from Corin Avarice, the boy on the bench. Check it out on Amazon. The graphics and colours are almost identical. She is about as authentic as a $3 bill. Then somebody else. I find it quite a coincidence that someone else named Corin Avarice wrote a book called The Boy on the Bench in 2018 about a young boy and his father. Surely the Duchess wouldn't have accidentally lifted someone else's work, tweaked it and served it up to be published. And then, inspired by Harry's first wife or copied from The Boy on the Bench by Corin Avarice, if I were Corin, I would sue somebody else. Almost identical to Corin Avarice's book, The Boy on the Bench, even the cover identical. Then another tweet. Before you run out and waste money on the book by Harry's wife, read The Boy on the Bench by Corin Avarice and Gabrielle Albrozzo. And then again... This woman is incapable of original thought. The Boy on the Bench is a story about the love between a father and a son and describes how the boy learns to socialise confidently. I hope that Corin Avarice considers legal action. So this isn't just one person that has thought there's a similarity. Numerous people have done so. And, of course, further scrutiny of the actual content of the book would enable one to see whether there has been plagiarism and whether action could be taken but it is interesting that so many people have immediately spotted this the article continues corin who has spent much of her life working in children's television as a producer and director at companies including ragdoll citv and cbb's has written several books for children according to her amazon biography she is also drawn to themes of identity and belonging in her books and aims to deliver big feelings with humor and tenderness Meanwhile, Harry's wife's book, The Bench, similarly aims to explore the special bond between father and son, as seen through a mother's eyes. In one illustration, a red-headed soldier, hmm, wearing an American-style army cap, is seen holding his young son aloft as a woman watches on, crying from a window. This is a likely reference to her and Harry. You don't, really, you don't say, who served in Afghanistan with the Blues and Royals. The words reach, read, this is your bench, where life will begin, for you and our son, our baby, our kin. Fuck me. Poet laureate, really. That's just absolutely awesome writing, isn't it? Earth-shattering. I mean, if I had any emotional empathy, I'd be moved. Um, I perhaps... Is this a tear squeezing out? No, I've just poked myself in the eye by mistake and it made it water. Um, <clears throat> Royal fans, the article continues, were quick to point out similarities between the two story books, with one person commenting, This was stolen from Corin Avarice, the boy on the bench, check it out on Amazon. And there is just a repetition of some of the tweets that I had mentioned. And of course, the comment that writes, that is written, is That poem became this story, Harry's wife tells us. Christian layered in beautiful and ethereal watercolour illustrations to capture the warmth, joy and comfort of the relationship between fathers and sons from all walks of life. This representation was particularly important to me and Christian and I worked closely to depict this special bond through an inclusive lens. Such virtue signaling. My hope is that the bench resonates with every family, no matter the makeup, as much as it does with mine. Sources close to Harry's wife have revealed she has long aspired to write a children's book and hopes to write more in the future. They told Vanity Fair, The Royal loves writing and is very good at it. I should well imagine that she told them that I love writing and I'm very good at it. 
The proof, as they say, will be in the pudding, and it will be seen whether Corin Avarice takes action with regard to the allegations of plagiarism, but for so many people to immediately see that this looks so similar to something else does have the whiff that something amiss has gone here. We can't say for certain, and it's for others to take action where deemed appropriate that hold the rights to the relevant bucks and to see if there is a case to be made. But the point remains, people have noticed a similarity, and not only is it far from uncertain that a narcissist will engage in plagiarism, indeed it is commonly undertaken by narcissists, the content of the buck is this sickly sacharine uh, situation of looking to assert control through the extension of the facade management. So, allegations of plagiarism. But there's yet more from the gift that keeps on giving. Join me in part three as we look at further information that has come to light appertaining to the situation about the bench. <laughs>